triggers, right? And how we trigger each other, especially the daughter being triggered by the mother, right? Uh, so how, how do you guys deal with those triggers and how uh, do you help to not trigger each other? Well, I think the first and most important thing is to uh, be able to identify what are your triggers. If yeah. you have a nagging mom and she's always going to be bringing up the same thing. Why aren't you married? Why well, I don't like that boyfriend. What are you <laughs> doing dressed like that? You know, all those things. And your mom is going to be nagging about the same things over and over. That That is such a trigger. So basically, if you identify your triggers, then then you can put up the boundaries if you're the daughter and say, you know, that doesn't feel good to me. Don't don't bring up those subjects when we're together. Let's not talk about those subjects. Yeah. But, you know, I and I'll, I'll, I think that's absolutely right. But what I'll add to that, because people always say, well, this isn't easy. Yeah. And it's like changing your behavior is the hardest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And it takes practice. So, you know, I'm still going to do things that maybe trigger her around money. She's still going to do things that trigger me around food or other things. Yes. But the difference is we're able to know where each other are coming. She knows I'm anxious about stuff. You know, I know that she wants me to be healthy because I've been mm -hmm. unhealthy at times in my life. Yeah. And remember that some of these nags and triggers are actually coming from a helpful place. And, and the trick really is to practice over and over, hey, I know you're coming from a good place, but I've got this covered. I'm an adult, you know, and, and sometimes we really have to look at each other and say, you know, I've got this handled and, you know, you, you may you may be right about some things, but on this one, we're going to we're going to kind of agree to disagree or agree to let it go. Um, so triggers and boundaries kind of go hand in hand. So one thing is, it, it's it, how hard is it to really hold your tongue? <laughs> you really yeah. see something that you're, 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 <laughs> that you're not liking about your mother or your daughter. What does it mean just not to say anything? Not to say anything. Yes. So you're eating a candy bar, not my <laughs> business. Well, you know what? I'm here in Florida. It took three days for me to go, what is the sighing about? She's sighing. Oh. No, what is it? Two days, I ignored it. And then today I was like, what's the sign? And you know what? I'm glad we brought this up because why did I need to open my mouth? She feels like sighing this week. It's none of my business, you know? If she That's tells me so it's funny. not about me, you know, as long as she's not sighing at me, then... You know, you sigh know, away. It's your house. I, I'm glad you brought up the sighing, Lindsay. <laughs> I'm really glad you brought that up because my mother used to sigh. And oh. she would be sighing. And my father used to hum. I mean, can you imagine how annoying I had one parent who, who, who was humming all the time songs from World War I. <laughs> and, my mother, oh. and my mother was sighing all the time. And my yeah. mother started sighing literally when she got cancer. Oh no. So, you know, she was like sighing, sighing. Oh. And so when Lindsay said to me, You're sighing, you're sighing, I thought, oh my goodness, am I sounding like her? That's another thing. Like sometimes I even look in the mirror, I'm like, I, I look like my father, like I'm we were babies, and you put two pictures together, we're like twins. But as time you know, I had such a good relationship. Well, good and bad and the same, you know how it is uh, with my mom, such a close relationship. Let's put it like that way that I started looking like her. Yeah. More. yeah. And I'm, right. What is that? It's, I didn't used to look like this. No, she didn't used to look like this. Same here. And I actually, both my parents were really beautiful. So it doesn't matter if I look like my dad or my mom, but I think my mom was like, she was like a model, like beautiful. She used to be like really skinny. Of course, I came out like my dad, athletic, you know, but that's okay. Hey, I cherish my body. It's okay. Uh, but my mom was so beautiful. And it's like, like, I'm kind of like getting her beauty. She's not with us anymore, but I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm getting her type of beauty that before I didn't have. 
And I don't know why that is. Uh, it's yeah. after she passed away, it's, it started happening more and more. And it's just, we're so close. We even start to look alike. Do, do you guys feel that way? That that's the kind of relationship that mothers and daughters have? Absolutely. Well, her spirit is in you, obviously. It, it really is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Her spirit oh, you is right her there. <laughs> you. <Not> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. You're going to make me cry, but yeah, her strength. I feel like she, after she passed away and I know this is just my belief. Um, she passed on to me her strength and also my grandmother on my mom, on my dad's side, she had green eyes. And after she passed away, I'm not kidding you that my eyes got greener. <laughs> What's up with that? And my father had a dream before he passed away. And he told me that he saw his mother's eyes being transferred to me in a dream and then after my grandmother passed away, I promise you, I looked at, I'm like, what the hell are these? Uh, what, what's going on? What's happening? Isn't that crazy? Well, I, I was just so glad, uh, you know, that Lindsay said that about the sign to, uh, just now, because it's how we talk about each other, about the, our irritations that is yes. really, you know, you can alter your triggers by by being able to communicate something that the other person has no idea that she's doing. 